imagining if like there were power ranks every week. It's just like everyone <laughs> yeah. would be inactive all the time. It's like there's one tournament this week, the power rank is the placement of that tournament. Yeah. Alright, so they, they strike to Dreamland. Okay. So the the size of the stage actually doesn't matter for ice climbers because um you know, you kill with a wobble, it doesn't matter how high the ceiling is. If you're killing with a wobble, it always kills. Yeah. And for Marth, this is usually not a stage Marth likes to play on because you can't poke through the platforms. But don't expect to see ice climbers on the platforms. They are the most grounded character in the game and they will always be on the baseline of the stage. So it's just yeah. a matter of the of having platforms um to uh, kind of regroup on and be safe from being wobbled. Yeah, I was actually, um, I was actually like studying this matchup the other day, and uh, I was thinking about the same thing because I remember uh, somebody had uh, they had counterpicked with Marth to the stage. Yeah, and I was confused at first because I was like, uh, like, you know, I mean, it's not Marth's best stage. Like, uh, what exactly is the rationale? Uh, but yeah, like, like you said, when you really think about it. Um, Ice climbers are really not going to make use of those platforms, uh, so Marth really has nothing to worry about with, uh, you know, he has so much room to move around and outspeed them, so it, it's, I don't think it's really that bad of a uh, matchup on this stage for them. And we got young Panties creeping in. Yo, Panties wants to see Pudgy Panda have revenge taken on him. I'm saying you get to watch Stango take revenge on your behalf. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna quick yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, for Panties. So we get right. a, a quick down So smash. it evens it up. Even it up. The, the first stock, Stango's um, Nana Kill was real crispy. Stango, get, Stango got the. Uh, yeah, the, he got uh, the smash DI on that on that uh, up air though, or that down air. Yeah, I Pud I always see Pudgy Panda go for that, even in situations where he could just straight up start the wobble. So I, I don't know what exactly motivates that because it's not close to guaranteed. It's like at best kind of like a one in three mix up if your opponent knows what they're doing. Yeah. Well, I mean, you do need to put on a little percent uh, unless they're not going to match. Like most normal players will match out. Um, Stango going for Popo, ignoring Nana for the time being. Looks like it pays off. Yeah. And Nana just impotently disappears. Poof. Yeah, Nana a little too far away. Oh, that patience. Yeah, it is. Okay, down tilt, so, uh, nice DI down and away on the blizzard. Uh, prevents ooh. the possibility of being grabbed out of it. Oh. I, no speed I, spot from Stango. Did, did he think he could have tech that, maybe? I just think he really uh, messed up his sweet spot there. No, it's I don't think I don't he think, went for I the th tech. I don't think you're giving Stango enough credit. I think he uh, doesn't mess up his sweet spots like that. I've known this man since he was 12. Have you really? Uh, how old is he now? I think he just graduated high school. If, I'm if he sure. just graduated high school, that means he's like 18 or 19. Yeah, it 18. means I've known this man since he was 12 years old. Wow. Yeah, I actually didn't know how old he was until like a few weeks ago. I just kind of assumed he was like around my age. Uh, you know, college kid. Because most of us are college kids. He's about to be. But, uh, yeah, and then I found out he was like 17 and like just about to graduate high school. And I felt bad about how good I was at Melee. <laughs> it's okay. You're, I'm sure you're good at other things. No. <laughs> <laughs> sure you know more you know more about the things you're interested in than Sego knows about those things. I'm interested in melee. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just kidding around. Oh, get to down to it on Oh, now Okay. So yeah, now, now saving is like in that situation where he didn't execute wow. perfectly. That was fast. Well, I was going to say that Stanga's decision <laughs> to go after Popo instead of Nana was coming back to bite him, but not if you're just going to kill him like that. That was an amazing wave. Stango, man. clean two stock. Sometimes two stocks look close. I don't think that two stock looked close. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty strong from Stango. All right, so they're neutral starting. Five. Do they go on? Oh, they went on four. Okay, that's why it's hard to grab ice climbers because the other one can just down smash you. As long as they're close, it doesn't matter if one is grabbed. Uh, you still have the you, Popo still has control of Nana in that situation. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, new luck. So, because of Marth's superior reach, I've heard this matchup described. It's like it's like playing rock paper scissor, but. Ice Climbers has to throw out their thing like a quarter of a second before. So if the Marth is just on point, they could just react. 
It's like the East Coast option slack. You know, on the West Coast, they, they throw on scissors. They say rock, paper, scissors. And throw. Yeah. They, but at the East Coast, we say shoot. Yeah. It's like Marth is East Coast and, and uh, Ice Climbers is West Coast, so they're playing rock, paper, scissors. It's kind of <laughs> like that. It's not I fair. I would find that extremely funny. I ended up uh, talking to Lucky about that a couple weeks ago uh, when we were at Royal Flush. And they were, they were just like mad the whole time. They were just trying to explain it. Oh, I think he gets the wobble. Yeah. So fun fact. When I heard that was a thing, I learned that was a thing when I when I went to a West Coast tournament. Uh -huh. I I like looked at the World Rock Paper Scissors Championship, which was televised on ESPN too, and I found the clip. They throw on shoot. I'm just saying. They throw on shoot. I wonder where that comes from, because like uh, you got to think like either of the uh, coasts learned it from somewhere you know whether the east coast have learned it from yeah it, it's kind of local like, or like it, yeah. it's got to be a thing about like how dialects form where there's just gradually differences you know maybe like something that was like popular in west coast culture but not east coast culture kind of like you know how like you know all spanish-speaking countries learn to speak spanish from like span like conquistadors from spain yeah but like there's like differences in how they pronounce things now a couple hundred years later probably the same thing with rock paper scissors anyway so goes down a stock pudgy panda looking like a god i i, <laughs> I i've said that there's the spirit of sopo that was earlier inhabiting pudgy panda when he did when he not just defeated dj nintendo and uh, i forget the other you remember his partner oh that should be the game oh, for uh, pudgy Samo? panda samo yeah samo um, no. Amazing DI by Stango. That just Pudgy Panda released early. There's nothing to justify that that that, that decision. You had all the time in the world. Okay. Yeah, Stango punished does for something grabbing. very unsafe. <laughs> yeah, Stango's gotten a little bit punished for grabbing more than once now. But anyway, there's the spirit of Sopo, right? <laughs> it's it's uh, this ethereal thing. And it can enter any ice climber at any time. It, it was it was in Pudgy Panda when he was when he stayed alive on his first stock three minutes into the game at 200 percent against <laughs> DJ Nintendo and Samo. Yeah, it was it was in him, and we'll see if it uh, inhabits him still today or still, you know. <laughs> so I think a Sango, couple hours later. Yeah. So Sango needs to run around a little bit before we uh, get our neutral start. Yeah, I think they were they they're always starting on five, so you know what do you want to do with that five seconds? Yeah. They seem laughing about it at the beginning. Oh, he gets the Ooh, DI nice read this time. Play. So keep in mind that that's a DI read that you don't even necessarily have to go for. He he hit he throws him real early again. The same percentage he did last time. This time the ceiling's a little bit lower and the blast zone's a little bit closer, so he gets away with it. But it's just um. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because this is the last game they're going to play. That fort smash. Another one. Oh, nice air dodge. I like the idea. Maybe he could have air dodged backwards and tried to get onto Randall. Yeah, that's what I thought he was going to go for, but I um, didn't see anything. Ooh, just out of the range of that forward smash Ooh, there. I don't think uh, spot dodge is what he wanted there. I was waiting for a uh, Nana handoff into like there. But I don't think he's quite got it. Nice. Nana getting the forward smash. You gotta stop. You gotta stop trying to grab climbers. Um, I think uh, what he was doing game one that he hasn't been really since is separating them relationally and just killing Nana. He's always going for Popo when he separates them. And, and if it works, great. But if it doesn't work, well then, you know, Nana's still there and you're still in danger of getting wobbled. Like, they were I mean, separated for so long yeah. there and he just didn't go for it. Mark like, has you... a lot of tools to separate, too. Like, his down tilt, like, if Nana doesn't uh, shield right. Um... Yeah, right there was another. He could yeah. have reversed up feed. He would have let Popo back on for free and maybe taken a, an aerial for it, but he would have killed Nana. Okay, lucky uh, or unlucky air dodge for Pudgy Panda. Accidentally killing himself, which uh, non-spacies don't don't do that often. Seen a lot of down smash here. Just trying to get in. Oh, nice jab grab. So within nine percent, Stango in in grave danger of being sent to the losers bracket. Completely even game in game three. This is Philadelphia's best. What are the people gonna say about our city and our state? <laughs> this guy. 
loses to the second best ice climbers at the tournament. I don't know, he's looking like the best ice climbers at the tournament. No offense to Slug, but Pudgy Panda's having one heck of a day. Yeah, he's playing really well, uh, especially against Stango. This matchup's super tough. Um, he's still putting up a decent fight. You know, we see him... Oh, going, the going. mash out! Yeah, we hit, one thing about Pudgy in. Panda is his, his wobbles are not good. It, just everything else about his game is so good that it manages oh, wow. to make up for it. So Nana got the grab there, so that, that was going to have to be a, a prediction to try to get the wobble from it. Instead, gets a smash. Not bad. Oh. Stango, on his last stock of winners, needs to pull it together, play very exact. Oh, spot that. Just kill Nana. Oh, he, his mash outs are so on point, though. Yeah. I mean, they have to be. Or he's a dead mark. Kill Nana? Oh, oh wow. He had all the time. What? I think Nana got yeah, shield transferred got, there. I think yeah, um, she got pushed off the I think stage. if that hadn't killed her, she would have gotten invisible ceiling glitched. I think uh, Popo pushed her off the stage. I think that's what happened. Because when he got hit into oh, her. Oh, yeah, that's possible. Yeah, he got hit into her and she ended up falling off the stage. Okay, he's her. going for the throws, which, um, you know, have hurt him in the past. Because if you grab one, the other one can still forward smash or down smash you. Now, nice that's, there. That smart. Oh, yeah. could that be it? Kill Nana, what are you doing? Okay, he killed Popo. Or you can kill Popo. Okay, yeah, okay. Can... I'll stop questioning you, Stego. Just kill Popo. <laughs> that's why he's first and silly, and we're here commenting. <laughs> I'm actually surprised he did that. I, I was waiting for him to go for, uh, definitely go for Nana, and he just ignored her <laughs> and waited for Popo to fall. And it looked like he considered. He's like, nah. Yeah. Nah. Because he originally got jabbed by Nana out of something, and then uh, I was like, uh-oh. <laughs>